Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be slightly different to the usual ones. This is going to be slightly shorter, a little bit more of a instructional video on how to download something into Lightroom. So as you guys probably know, we sell preset packs um, on our website. The link will be the first link down below in the description. So go ahead and check those out. And um, there'll probably be a sale on at some point. We do lots of sales. Um, we've got five preset packs. We've got like a Peter McKinnon, Sam Calder, um, Aspen Ovard. Uh, lots of different ones, a Brandon Wolfel one as well. So go ahead, check those out and download them if you really want to um, get a pack. But what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how you can go ahead and import a preset pack that you may download somewhere online or if you've bought from someone and you can download it into your preset section down here on Lightroom and then you can go ahead and just basically click on the preset and then it will apply it to your image. So today's image that I'm going to be using is this uh, photo that I took when it was snowing. It's not the best photo but it's just going to show you guys how you can download and apply a preset. Now of course when you do download a preset or if you buy a preset from us for example, so for example today I'm going to be using the Peter McKinnon preset pack that we've got for sale on our website. I think at the moment it's up for about 12 to 15 pounds. So the idea is, is you download the preset pack, apply it to your image, and you probably find you need to do some minor tweaks, some little bit of adjustments to make your image look perfect. So I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and do that um, to start off with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the way you can go ahead and do this. So this should work on a PC as well. So what you can do is you're going to come up and you're going to click on Lightroom. You're not going to be able to see it, but um, just click on Lightroom and come down to Preferences. Or you can do the shortcut and press Command, Comma. And that should open up this little window here. Um, ignore everything else and just come straight down to Show Lightroom Presets Folder. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll up to um, make sure that Lightroom is selected and come up to develop presets. And then you can select user presets and this should show you every single preset that you've got um, already in your Lightroom. So as you can see here, you've got the um, Fantasy 2 for example. So these are all the presets that I've already got in Lightroom. As you can see, I have got a few Peter McKinnons already in here. These are the first two when I was making them, but now I'm just going to be downloading the entire pack. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting all of these presets here and I'm just going to basically drag them and then drop them into this one folder. So now you can see it has imported every single one of those into here really quite quickly and it's also kept the two presets that I got beforehand. So now what we can do is we can just come straight back into Lightroom then we can close these windows. We don't need these anymore. Come back into Lightroom and as you can see it won't have updated yet so we're going to have to quit Lightroom and then reopen it. So just do Command Q to quit Lightroom. Okay so once you've reopened Lightroom you can come down into your presets folder that should be here. If it's not just make sure you come onto the develop tab because it won't um, necessarily show under library. So as you can see here, it doesn't show it. So come up, select your image, and select Develop. Come down and the drop down menu Presets, and you should scroll to the bottom, and you should see where your presets are. So for example, here are our presets, one to six. So this is the pack that if you bought, um, it would show you all these six presets. Uh, the reason there are six is because obviously we try to make sure that there's enough presets there that they apply to lots of different images that you may have taken. Um, as I said at the beginning, these won't necessarily work perfectly well for your image. Okay, so what you want to do now, possibly, is once you've done this, is start creating folders. This is um, just to make it look a little bit more easy to manage. So, for example, um, this is a folder here. These are all the um, presets that are already given to you um, by Lightroom. These are the um, default ones. Then under the user presets, these are the ones you've made if you've made them yourself. If you do want to know how to make a preset, that will be in another video that will probably be coming out after this one. So stay tuned for that. Um, but once you've done that, you can basically just select one of the presets, for example, and just do control click and then click new folder and then just label that. So, for example, I'm going to call this Peter McKinnon. Um, it would be worth pointing out this time, guys, that these are not um, Peter McKinnon's preset packs. These are our packs that we've made in his style. So um, you can go and get his, but his are, I think, about double or triple the price of our ones. So and then you can basically just drag and drop all of your presets into that folder. Now you've um, done that and you've made your folder, you can just close it up, um, close all your user presets, and that just makes it really quite tidy, and so you can just come down and then you have your six Peter McKinnon presets. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select one of these presets, I'm going to work my way through to show you guys that um, a couple of them will probably work roughly with the image, and then show you that you've got to do some tweaks, and I'm just going to do that, and then I'm just going to show the final image. This isn't going to be like a full tutorial, this is just going to be showing you guys how you can import the presets, but I thought it would be quite nice if you guys could see the final results. So um, I'm going to work my way through, so this is the first preset pack. So as you can see, that one just makes it a little bit brighter. Um, so that one does kind of work with the image, but I'm looking for like a high clarity kind of this kind of style, big contrast, big clarity. Um, so the second one works. The third one kind of works, but you see this kind of faded out the blacks a little bit. Um, this looks a little bit too um, crazy for me. So I'm just gonna keep my looking my way through. And again, like, so number four doesn't really work. It's too dark. And number five, that kind of works, um, but it's not really what I'm looking for. And then I'm going to go ahead, try number six. 
Okay, so number six doesn't really work either. So um, I think number one, two, and three kind of work. So as you can see, about 50% of the time, our presets kind of work. Well, I guess number five kind of works as well. So I think I quite like the look of number two and number three. So I'm just going to go back to those two um, and choose one of those before I go ahead and tweak some final settings. Okay, so this is number two. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, we could crop this image, but I'm just going to show you guys, as opposed to doing a full edit, just to how to kind of brighten things up and show you that you have got to tweak a few things. So the blacks, as you can see, minus 42 are quite dark. So I'm just going to bring those up just a little bit, bring back a little bit of detail in the shadows. So you can see we've got some more stuff going on down here. Again, bring up the shadows a bit as well, just brighten it up. Um, I think the whites, I might bring those up just to bring up the um, the contrast a little bit more. I think the exposure's probably fine, maybe up a little bit, not too much. So I'm just gonna show you the before and after now. So that's before and that's the after. So this is the preset pack. Um, temperature, I think is fine. I think the clarity is fine as well. Vibrance and saturation is good. Um, tone curve, I'm not gonna do anything with this because um, Peter McKinnon's kind of style is quite high contrast, um, low saturation. Again, this particular image doesn't really have much in it, which is why um, the saturation is pretty um, standard because there's not really many colors. It's quite monochrome. Um, but I might take the um, orange up a little bit, that's like the skin tones, the oranges and the yellows, uh, just to make it look a little bit more like it's me. So there we go, that is basically the final edit of our image. So this is the before image, this is um, as soon as we've just taken it out of the camera raw and we put it into Lightroom. No edits at all, this is what it would look like as soon as you import it. And then this is the after, as soon as I've used the preset pack, um, and I've shown you guys how you can import that and then I've just done some two little tweaks, I think I just increased the shadows, the whites and the blacks, so three little tweaks um, and then we've come up with this final image. So you can see how easy the presets are, if you get some it really is quite quick and you can get a really good image out of it. So um, I can put this up in full screen now on the screen so you guys can go and have, um, have a little bit of a look at it when I'm ending the video. So that's it for today's video guys, as I said at the beginning, if you did enjoy this and you do want to know how to make your own presets, that will be the next video coming out on the channel so go ahead and check that one out as well. Um, thanks for watching guys and if you do want to go ahead and get these presets, the link as I said at the beginning will be down below in the description and there will probably be a card um, at some point in the video just taking you guys directly to the Peter McKinnon preset bag. So again thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Live long and prosper.